you're trying to break through and scale your business. You've probably been trying for quite a while. You've probably tried almost everything, like I did. But the thing is guys, over 99% of businesses fail. Why is that? This isn't the Olympics. You don't have to be born with something in order to succeed. It's not the high jump. It's knowledge. There's something that over 99% of businesses are not doing so that they're failing, that the businesses that are winning and succeeding are doing. And the thing is, guys, I went to Stanford University. I'm close personal friends with a lot of founders of all kinds of businesses, from what was the world's second biggest affiliate marketer to the founder of Instagram. And we're very good at studying. And what we found, this is on the leading edge of consumer psychology, is that all those businesses that are not commodities businesses, that are breaking through and scaling are doing one thing. I know it doesn't look like they're doing the same thing, but we're about to dive into that, show you, show you how to do it, show you how to break through and scale so that you can reach your dreams the same way that it allowed me to. I'm excited about that and I hope you are too. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you're a man between about your mid 30s and mid 50s, then this in particular will apply to you and will help you break through and scale your business. I'm Dak and I wrote Entrepreneurship Solved because there wasn't any kind of complete enough guide out there to make sure that anybody that wanted to break through and scale their business could do so. Whether you're selling physical products from home or from a drop shipper on any platform, or you're an online coach, maybe you're a physical fitness coach, maybe you teach people how to trade stocks, maybe you teach people how to improve their own lives, maybe you teach them how to hunt mushrooms, or maybe you have a physical store, maybe you run a local store or studio, maybe you're an affiliate marketer, anything where you need to accumulate a lot of customers, even a YouTuber. This is exactly what all of the businesses that are doing that have a large customer base from Starbucks to Whole Foods to Facebook to Tony Robbins are doing to be so successful and scale so much. Now, if you're an oil company and you sell a commodity, this probably isn't for you. But for almost everybody else watching, this is exactly, this one thing is exactly how all of the businesses in your shoes are breaking through and scaling. And there really just is not another way to do it. They're all doing some form of the same thing. And I'm going to show you why and how. Yo, Gary V. What's up, man? Hey, I got a question. How do I break through and scale my business? I've been trying everything. Well, First, you gotta eat a lot of blueberries. I eat blueberries like it's my job. It saves so much time. All you mothers out there, you're just wasting so much time eating. Okay, that's great, but beside the blueberries, then what should I do? Okay, so you're gonna make content for the next three years and you're gonna put it on TikTok. See, everybody's on TikTok, it's all about the attention. And you just keep putting it up there and keep making content and then People are gonna love it, it's gonna scale. Eventually you're gonna do something that hits and it's just gonna scale, man. Content, it's about the content. Just don't buy the New York Jets, cause that's for me. Don't buy the New York Jets, it's my thing. Content. Isn't that kinda of just guessing? It is. Without diving into my entire story, which you don't wanna hear just yet, I ran a business that did over seven figures when I was pretty young. Then I tried to switch businesses and start something that was more scalable in a bigger market. And it just didn't work. I wound up spending all of my money and basically literally going broke. I then was stuck for over three years on that. It was absolutely terrible. And that was despite the fact that I went to Stanford, that I know all these top Silicon Valley entrepreneurs I could ask at any time, that I read everything by Russell Brunson and Gary Vaynerchuk and all that. What I wanna show you now, starting right now and in the book Entrepreneurship Solved, is how I got unstuck and how being in that position showed me the solution to almost every problem you might be facing because I went through it all. At the end of that rainbow, I wound up getting to live out my dream, which is really what I want for you. 
I had a list of everything that I wanted to do before I died. Bucket list, if you will. And I was super fortunate that I got to do all of that right before I turned 30. I got to fly in a fighter jet and break the speed of sound. I got to go to Vietnam, buy a motorcycle with a friend and ride up and down the coast. I got to go to six of the top 10 restaurants in the entire world. I got to do everything that I wanted to. I got to hang out with celebrities like Rob Thomas and Lindsey Vaughn. I'm gonna show you a bunch of pictures of that. It was really awesome. I really want you to get a conception for what's possible for you. probably not the same as my dreams. That's fine. If I can do all of that stuff, you can do whatever it is your dreams are. I got to hang out way more with my friends and family. Whenever they wanted to do something, I was able to take that time off and do it. I had the resources to do it. Whatever your dream might be. I did almost all of that when I was only making about 20K a month. I wasn't even a millionaire yet. So it's extremely accessible. You can do the same things. You just have to run a business that has the right fundamentals, that is scalable and follows the one thing that separates all those successful businesses from all the failures. And we're gonna go through that. This is going to be both comprehensive so that if you're just starting, it's fine for you. And we're gonna go deep so that if you're an expert, you absolutely learn a lot of new stuff. And what is that one thing you ask? Emu farming. They use one fifth as much land as cattle. They're adorable, they're super friendly, and they fly. What's that? They don't fly? And they don't even fly. Their milk makes you fly. No, no, don't farm emus. Disregard everything he said. Now I want you to do something with me for a second. I want you to participate. I want you to stop and slow down and lock in and visualize. I want you to visualize what your life would be like if every time a customer came across you, they felt extremely close to you. They felt like if you weren't there, their life was not as good. They missed you. Now this could be you or it could be your business. They felt grateful to have encountered you or your business. They felt like when you weren't giving them something that they could listen to, watch, read, interact with, that their life was not as good, it wasn't as interesting. They felt that you were helping them, making their life better, maybe fulfilling their desires, maybe fixing their problems, maybe just entertaining them. Now, I want you to imagine that you had the tools to go out and scale that. That you could do that with a thousand people, with 10,000 people, with a hundred thousand people, so that they all felt that way. So that they all felt the closeness and a connection to you or to your business. Now imagine, when they felt that way, if you gave them products that either fulfilled their desires, or fixed their problems, or greatly entertained them, would they be willing to buy those from you? Would they be willing to come back and buy them again? Now I want you to imagine, if you have that many customers that are willing to do that, what does that do for your business? If you can do that with a thousand customers, 10,000 customers, 100,000 customers, a million customers, what does that then do for your business? What does your cash flow look like? What does your business look like? I want you to imagine how many people are you helping? How much money are you making? How do you feel? Are you confident? Do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel like you're fulfilling your purpose? How do other people, imagine this, lock in, imagine, how do other people treat you now that you're doing that? Now that you have 100,000, 
or a million customers, that you created this thing, that you have a following, how do they treat you? How do they act around you when you're at a dinner party, for instance? Now imagine, what does that do for your life? What can you do for your family? Where can you travel to? What experiences can you have? How do you feel while you're going on those experiences? Really lock in. Really imagine that your business managed to get 100,000 customers, 1 million customers feeling close to you, wanting to see the next thing that you put out. Feeling a closeness to you or to your business. Really loving you or your business. Like the fans of a rock band. Just imagine what that does for your life. Where are you going to go on vacation this year? What are you going to do with your friends? What are you going to do with your family? What dreams can you finally fulfill? How do people talk about you? Really imagine it. Imagine that when you put something out, your customers, your fans, are excited to see that. Now, wipe away anything that tells you that that's not possible. Wipe away anything that tells you that's not for you. Wipe away anything that doubts that. Just allow yourself to imagine that that was your reality right now. Allow yourself to imagine that the only thing that had been holding you back from that was knowledge, was taking the right actions, was having the right steps to take to do it. And that once you got that, that you landed in this place. Imagine that all you had to do was find the knowledge to be able to do that. What has that now done for your life? What has that done for how you feel? Imagine waking up in the morning. How do you feel? How do you feel about yourself? How do you feel about your life? How do you feel about your business? How do you feel? What is this new reality like? Is it now easy to maintain this reality? Does it look in retrospect like it was easier or harder than it seemed to actually get there. Now lock in on that because that is what you need to drive you in order to get there. That, that picture, that imagination is what will get you there. That's what will land you in that place. This is critical. That's what will get you there. That's what makes it a reality. Do you really want to be an entrepreneur like this? It's all I can afford to eat today. I better save the rest for tomorrow. So what is this one thing that all the businesses that are succeeding and breaking through and scaling are doing that all the failures aren't? We call it one to many closeness. One to many closeness. Now, what is that in a short form so you don't have to watch this video forever? Because we're gonna dive into this in depth and show you all the steps, how to do it, and all the examples of it being done in businesses from in any consumer facing business. Coca-Cola, Starbucks, Facebook, online coaches, people selling tons on Spotify, YouTubers. We're gonna show you all that. But without having to dive into that right now so you don't have to watch this forever, think of this. Think of your favorite movie star or your favorite rock star. Or if you don't have one, Think of somebody who is a big fan of one of those types of personalities. It could be George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston, Sting, Billy Idol, The Beatles, doesn't matter. Now, think of how you feel towards that person or how a super fan or a large fan would feel towards that person. They feel like they kind of know everything about them, right? They feel close to them. If they ran into them on the street, they would feel almost like they were friends. They'd be very excited about that. They'd be very disappointed if they never put anything else out again. It's almost like a friendship, even though they know that, that person might not necessarily know who they are. Now think about that. There's one rock star or movie star and many fans, one to many, but the fans feel incredibly close to that person, right? It'd be even better if they could talk. If they could have conversations, it'd be even stronger effect. Now how did they get there? Scalable tools. Radio, concerts, talk shows, movies, TV shows. That created the closeness between the one person, the one brand, and all those fans. 
one-to-many closeness. Now, it doesn't seem like businesses do that, right? But they do. I went to Stanford. We're very good at studying things. We've studied this for years. In fact, I'm one of the premier practical psychologists in the world. The reason you haven't heard this before is because we're just starting to figure out how consumers actually behave. I'm an entrepreneur first, and this is my very close second thing, being a practical psychologist, understanding consumers. We're just starting to figure out that this is how consumers behave. So this is the very cutting edge. However, all businesses that break through and succeed are doing it. How? Well, when you launch a bunch of businesses out there, they follow, they feel their way around blindly, they follow other advice, they try things out, and less than 1% of them hit on this, then they win and they scale. The thing is, you have to realize that they're all doing this. That's why we're gonna go through example, after 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 example of this. Starting in the free section of Entrepreneurship Solved that we'll send you right now and all the way through the book until you have the same epiphany that changed my life. When you realize that this is what they're all doing, all the businesses that succeed in scale are doing this, and when you see that all the businesses that are failing are basically the equivalent of running up to you on the street and going, this is the greatest thing ever, buy it, buy it, buy it. If somebody did that to you, would you buy it? No, that could actually be the greatest thing in the world for you. But the approach would have you running away. You might have the greatest thing in the world for your customers, but without one-to-many closeness, you can't get past that feeling. You can't get past it. If you're not doing this, I would love to sugarcoat it, but you're screwed. You're not gonna break through and you're not gonna scale. And the thing is, that realization, accepting that that is the case, is the most freeing epiphany you could possibly have. It changed my life, and that's why I'm so passionate about spreading this, because it'll change yours, it'll change your business, it'll change your life. But you have to accept that it has to be this way. You have to use one-to-many closeness. You have to know how to do that so that you're not fumbling around in the dark. Once you know the process, you're not fumbling around in the dark, and you accept that one-to-many closeness is what all businesses that succeed and scale are doing, then you can act on it, and then everything can change for you. And that's what I want for you. Guys, please, if you learn anything from this, please do one thing. Do not try to go out and reinvent the wheel. I know you're smart. You're probably one of the smartest people you know, or you wouldn't th- be thinking about trying to start a business. I know, like me, you're probably stubborn. You wouldn't be thinking about trying to start a business. But please, do not go out and just try to reinvent the wheel. That's how I got stuck for over three years. Because I thought that I knew enough. And I did know 80 or 90% of the picture, and it's that last 10 to 20% that make all the difference. Because we've given people so many tools to start businesses and put out their agendas that it's gotten incredibly competitive. It's like an Olympic sport now, and I should know because I was a near Olympic level athlete. And at that level, you cannot do it yourself. You have to have a coach. So you need to learn from other people. There's millions of people go out there doing experiments right now, and there's people studying that and bringing that information to you. You have to learn what's rising to the top in other people's efforts and do what's working and then find the two or three areas where you know best, and I absolutely did know best in two or three areas, and innovate in those areas while doing best practices in the other areas. That's how you win. That's how you win. Now, worst case scenario, let's say I'm completely wrong, I don't know what I'm talking about. You get the beginning of the book for free. Read the first 10 pages or so, and you'll know whether or not it's going to be valuable to you. What else could you do with that time? You could probably go to Starbucks and get a cup of coffee. You probably watch part of a TV show on Netflix. You probably watch two or three YouTube videos. Worst case scenario, that's all you lose. No money, a cup of coffee, or a couple YouTube videos. Best case scenario, I do know what I'm talking about. I went to Stanford. I'm friends, close personal friends with the founder of Instagram, as well as a lot of other Silicon Valley top entrepreneurs like Lisa Falzone who started Revel Systems and sold it for over $100 million. The guy who's three or four on the team at Airbnb, also worth hundreds of millions. I've done over half a million dollars of ad testing myself. Best case scenario, I know exactly what I'm talking about and this changes your life. I would say if you execute everything in here properly, it should be worth at least $150,000 to you over the next two years alone. Best case scenario, just trying this, just seeing for yourself and forming your own opinion, just starting it, showing us where to send it. We'll send it to you by email. Just tell us where to send it, start it, and see for yourself because it really, really might change your life. 
but whatever you do, do not just reinvent the wheel. Go out and learn from smart people what the best practices are and then innovate in two to three areas. Guys, please give it a shot and see for yourself. I'll see you on the other side. So this right here, this is the free first 10 chapters of the book that you can get right now if you just give us an email and tell us where to send it. You see, this is great information. This is not some just free giveaway kind of a thing. This is the beginning of the book and we're gonna dive into exactly how to do all this. But two things, guys. First off, you really, really, really need to start right now because this is the easiest time to talk to people to form relationships and to get sales that there's been in a long time. Why? Because people are bored. And that doesn't happen much in the modern world. The second thing is that you have to form relationships in order to create profitable, scalable sales. We'll talk over and over and over again about why it has to be that way, but when you accept that and you do it, it will change your life. It will change your business. Everything will change for you. You just have to form relationships. Otherwise, it's like running up to somebody on the street who's never seen you before. I mean, like, buy this, buy this, buy this. It's the greatest thing ever. Could be the greatest thing ever. You're gonna freak them out. They're not gonna buy it. But if you form a relationship, and then if you have an irresistible offer, you're gonna create scalable sales. What's an irresistible offer? Now, I like this. Russell Brunson just talked about this. Would you buy this phone, my phone, for $1,000? It's got a crack because I was just doing this demonstration recently. It's got a crack right there. Would you buy this for $1,000? I'm sure you wouldn't. But now think of this. I'm close college friends with Kevin Systrom, the founder of Instagram. Imagine if you could get something in front of Kevin Systrom, the founder of Instagram. Everybody he knows, he's a billionaire. What would that do for your business? What could he help you do? I'm also close friends with Michaela Schifrin, multiple time Olympic gold medalist with over a million followers, rabid followers on Instagram. I'm also friends with Lindsey Vaughn's brother, another Olympic gold medalist. You've probably heard of her. What could they do if they were associated with your business? Another friend of mine, Nick Lippin, is the manager for Matchbox 20. He can get you in contact with Matchbox 20. Well, guess what? You can talk to all of them from my phone. All of my customers, they're in my email. All of my notes, everything I know about business, it's on my phone. Now imagine what you could do with this. Would you pay a thousand for that? Plus the phone, 2,500? I bet some of you would pay 25,000 because you know exactly what you would do along with the founder of Instagram, or with Lindsey Vaughn, or with these other people. That's an irresistible offer. This changes everything when you know what's really involved in it, when you know why it's exceptional. It has to be the right offer. You combine that with a relationship and you will sell. But you got to get started right now. You do not want to let this period in time when people are bored and it's so easy to talk to them go by. You want to seize that. And you don't want to be wasting your time and your money anymore. You want to break through. Do it the way that all successful businesses do. Break through. Make it happen. And make it happen now. Go and just tell us where to send this and we'll send it to you right now. You get started and we'll show you exactly how to do all of that. How to break through. And I will tell you right now, this will be the most valuable, most helpful, free thing you ever get in your entire life. And I'll bet you, if it isn't, you can send me all the nasty, angry emails ever that I wasted your time and you tried reading it. But if it is, you all, you all have to email me and tell me how cool and handsome and awesome I am. Fair enough? This will change your life. There's everything just in here that some of you need to make millions. Yes, as you continue through the book after this part, it will help you speed that up. But this will be the most valuable free thing you ever get in your whole life. It will change your life. Get it now. Don't wait.